Welcome to Fontaine. As the leading provider of post-production truck modification services for OEMs, dealers, and fleets throughout North America, we make the safety of our employees a top priority. In this video, we will show you several issues and scenarios that will help you be the safest that you can while here at Fontaine. This video will cover six general topics. One, personal protective equipment. Two, ergonomics. Three, first aid. Four, tool utilization. Five, shop organization and cleanliness. And six, vehicle movement. As you can imagine, it's not possible to cover every safety-related topic in this or any other single video. So we would ask that as you do your work, if you come across anything that seems unsafe or is a hazard to you or others, please report it immediately to your supervisor. The most important tools that you will use at Fontaine are the ones that you were born with, your eyes, ears, hands, and feet. You should always keep safety in mind and use the proper protective equipment. This section will cover the topics of gloves, eye protection, ear protection, respiratory protection, steel toe boots, and proper work attire. In general, tinted glasses and loose clothing hair or jewelry are prohibited anywhere in the shop. There should be no use of cell phones. When using the cutting wheel to cut fiberglass, metal, etc., make sure that you have on approved gloves and eyewear. The gloves can be found in the vending machine. When using the torch, plasma cutter, or welder, you will need to add a shade or mask to your PPE. The clear safety glasses can also be found in the vending machine. And cutting glasses, face shields, and other protective equipment can be found through your supervisor. Depending on your job requirements, additional eye protection may be required. If you wear prescription glasses, side shields are available. Bifocal safety glasses are also available. Hearing protection will be required for certain jobs on the work site. Check with your supervisor if you are unsure of the requirements in a particular area. Earplugs can also be found in the vending machine. Dust masks are required when using cutting wheels or grinding material and proper paint respirators are required when painting or performing body work. When on the shop floor, steel toe boots are to be worn at all times. Full-time employees are issued Fontaine uniforms and are required to wear one every day. To recap, proper personal protective equipment is critical to ensuring your safety while working. Make sure you're always using the proper gloves, eye protection, ear protection, respiratory protection, work boots, and work attire while on the job. While on the shop floor, proper ergonomic safety is critical to preventing injuries. This section will cover entering and exiting vehicles, proper lifting methods, when to team lift, operating ladders and scaffolding, and being aware of your surroundings. Fontaine employees enter and exit trucks dozens of times a day. This is an action that many employees take for granted, but can actually be quite dangerous. Whenever entering or exiting the cab, be sure to use a three-point stance at all times. It is very important to be facing the truck, whether entering or exiting the truck, to prevent injury. Be sure to never place tools on the steps of the truck, as this is a hazard for you and your fellow employees. These rules apply when getting up or down from the back of the truck as well. Before opening or removing steps from the cab, be sure to secure the seatbelt across the door entryway, which will serve as a barrier and a warning to anyone inside that the steps have been removed. Seatbelt clips will be available at your workstation. When lifting objects less than 50 pounds, firmly grasp the object with both hands and be sure to lift with your legs and not your back. For items over 50 pounds, ask for assistance for team lift. Use a lift cart or ask for assistance from a forklift operator. When using ladders, always make sure the ladder locks are in place and the legs are stable before proceeding up the steps. When working on high-level scaffolding, only carry a reasonable amount of tools or materials with you. Take multiple trips if needed to safely operate on the scaffolding instead of one large trip. When working on low-level scaffolding, always be aware of your surroundings. When working in the engine compartment area, do not stand on tires or engines. 
Instead, use the special platforms designed for those operations. Always be aware of your surroundings. Many injuries can be prevented by simply paying attention. To recap, proper ergonomic technique is vital to ensuring your safety while working. Make sure you are always using the best ergonomic technique when entering and exiting vehicles, lifting, operating ladders and scaffolding, and being aware of your surroundings. If an accident occurs, remain calm and help the best you can. This section will cover the use of first aid kits, eye wash stations, and accident reporting. Whenever entering a building, be sure to be aware of the location of the first aid kit. In the event that an irritant gets in your eyes or on your body, you can use the eye wash station or the shower to remove the substance. Regardless of the severity, all accidents must be reported to your supervisor. If an accident does occur, remain calm and help as best you can. To recap, accidents can happen and it is important that you act accordingly in these situations. Make sure you always know the location of first aid kits, the eye wash station, and that you report all accidents to your supervisor. Fontaine employees use both basic and advanced tools every day. Certain tools require authorization or training to use. This section will cover general hand tool safety, knives, using advanced tools, tool and equipment maintenance, cutting and welding, and cylinder handling and storage. Be sure to use the proper tool for the job. If you feel like you have to force the tool, then you're probably using the wrong tool. When using knives, proper gloves and protective wear should always be worn. Never force a knife or box cutter when cutting material. All pocket knives should always have a locking blade. Always be sure to cut away from your body. And remember, knives should never be left open when not in use. When using large or new equipment, please be sure you have been fully trained and can safely operate the equipment. Always be aware of warning signs. Some tool operations, such as torquing lug nuts and U-bolts, may require multiple people. Visually inspect all airlines, extension cords, and tools before use. Look for bulging or torn airlines that could break and cause major damage or significant danger. Frayed and damaged cord ends should be taken out of service immediately. Whenever cutting or welding, proper technique must be used to ensure your safety and the safety of those around you. Be sure to look around and check for fellow employees or vehicles before you begin grinding or welding. Unless you have been properly trained, you are not authorized to move or install any gas cylinders. To recap, Fontaine employees use numerous tools every day, so ensuring safety is crucial. Make sure you always know the proper methods when using hand tools, knives, and advanced tools. It's also critical to keep up with tool and equipment maintenance while using proper cutting and welding technique and cylinder handling and storage protocol. A clean shop is essential to a safe working environment. Trips, falls, and numerous other injuries and accidents can be prevented by simply keeping a clean shop. This section will cover work area cleanliness, spill cleanup, and truck interior cleaning. Air and electrical lines should always be clear of all walkways. When cords and airlines are not in use, be sure to roll them up and place them in their designated area. Throw all trash in a proper receptacle. Do not toss garbage, materials, or general clutter onto the floor. The top of your toolbox should be cleared off and properly stored every night. In the occurrence of a liquid spill, use floor dry on the liquid. After allowing time for the hazardous material to absorb, sweep it up and dispose of it properly. When you have completed your work, be sure to remove the debris from the interior with a vacuum. Do not blow the cab out with compressed air. Instead, wipe the interior clean. Every truck is to leave with a Fontaine floor mat. To recap, a clean shop ensures not only your safety, but also the safety of those around you. Make sure you're always keeping your work area clean and clean up any spills immediately. It's also important to follow the guidelines when cleaning the interior of a truck. 
At Fontaine, you're around moving vehicles such as trucks and forklifts every single day. Whether you are working on or operating a vehicle, pay attention to your surroundings. Your actions not only affect your safety, but the safety of those around you. This section will cover driving restrictions, truck safety, moving the truck, and forklift etiquette. You need the specific training to move any truck in the shop and around the property. You don't need a CDL, but you need to have been trained and authorized by your supervisor. Around the property, there is a five mile an hour speed limit on the lot in any vehicle. Whenever pulling a truck into the shop, always be aware of your surroundings. Before closing the hood, be sure to bang on the hood to notify others that you're closing it. Before moving the vehicle, a 360 degree walk around is needed to ensure everyone is clear of the vehicle and nothing is in the path of the vehicle. Look around and under the vehicle. If the vehicle is over a work pit, make sure no one is down there before considering the area clear. After the 360 walk around, you are ready to move the truck. Be sure to honk the horn to alert everyone you are moving before starting the truck for movement in the shop. Unless you have been certified to operate a forklift, this is a prohibited activity. Always be aware of forklift traffic. Be aware of honking or beeping, which is used to notify if a forklift is approaching. The forklift operator is to notify if assistance is needed. To recap, at Fontaine, we operate numerous vehicles every day, so using proper safety is of the utmost importance. Make sure you always follow driving restrictions. Obey all forms of truck safety. Keep a keen awareness of your surroundings when moving the truck and use proper forklift etiquette. Safety is the responsibility of all Fontaine employees. Please be aware of your surroundings and make safety your primary concern.